Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm here in beautiful Zurich and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create your in-camera transition with your smartphone. So basically in a transition, you want to connect a one shot to another and when played back, it looks like it was taken in one shot. And you basically can do those transitions in camera and the advantage of doing that is that you don't have to use uh, third-party plugins. I personally like doing in-camera transitions because it saves a lot of time in post-production. What's required is I have to have the edit in my mind and also think ahead uh, before I do the shoot. So the first transition we'll be doing is a sky transition. The way how it works is I basically start um, from a, a lower angle and then move the camera upwards towards the sky. And in the next shot, I move from the sky downwards. And I'm first gonna set the focus point and lock the exposure by tapping on the screen. And then I'm gonna say, action. I'm gonna walk, then transition up towards the sky. Starting from sky and action. So the next transition we're going to look at is the slide transition where you basically um, slide with your camera from one direction to another. And in the second shot, you want to follow the same direction to make it work. So in the first shot, when I move like this, the second shot would, should be the same motion as well. And you want to basically increase the speed as you go and then slow down the speed in the second shot. This way you will also save time in post-production and don't have to add speed ramps uh, to your video. So I'm just gonna first focus on George, I'm gonna lock it, and then I'm gonna start and action. Like that. So again, I'm gonna lock focus, and then I'm gonna wipe from right to left. So for our next transition, we're gonna create a match cut. I'm gonna have George walk this straight line and I'm gonna follow him uh, with my camera using the gimbal. And we're gonna do the same shot again, just in a different location and have George position himself again towards the center, walking straight forward. And what this is gonna do between the two shots is George will still be in the center and when it cuts, just the location changes. Let's go. This is gonna be a nice match cut. Action. So the next transition will be a fade in black and a fade out black. And I will have George uh, standing right over there uh, looking towards the city and I'll be moving my gimbal uh, close to his jacket so everything fades into black. And the same thing in the second shot, I'm going to start very close at the subject and then move away to reveal the new, uh, the new location. So again, I'm just going to lock and I'm just going to push in and action. Okay, three, two, one, go. So the next transition will be the mask out frame transition. And this is basically where I will be masking out a frame. It could be a window, it could be a phone, it could be a door or whatever. For this example, I'm gonna have George holding the phone with a green screen. 
Um, the reason why I went with the green screen is because I can mask it out easier uh, in post-production. So let's do that. And action. <laughs> so since I did a push-in shot in the first scene, for the second scene I'm going to do the same thing so that it transitions well. So next we're going to talk Ding dong. So next will be a masking transition and we're gonna use this tree to do it. You basically want to have a foreground object pass by the lens. And in the second shot, you just want to make sure you move the same direction like you did in the first shot. You don't have to have a foreground object in the second shot because you're gonna mask it out in the first shot in post-production. Okay, so let's do it. So I'm first going to change it to telephoto, then lock the exposure, and action. This time I'm going to take a close shot of George's face. I'm going to lock the exposure again, and action. All right. All right, so this is gonna be a underground transition and luckily George brought his tripod with him and I mounted the OM on the tripod so that I have more reach. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, George is gonna walk uh, over the bridge and we're gonna make a transition going downwards where he will then be walking under the bridge, sort of, like I said, an underground transition. Okay, action. Okay, three, oh wait a second, three, two, one, go. Okay guys, so these were my in-camera transitions uh, with my iPhone. The last tip I wanted to give you before I end this video is that create your transitions with meaning. You really want to enhance your story with those transitions because this way it is more impactful for the viewers to watch. Anyway, if you're new to iPhone filmmaking, make sure to download my free iPhone filmmaking guide that will be in the video description below. Uh, I want to thank George for helping me out in this video. Make sure to follow him on Instagram at George Paolo Photo. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to do that. And if you're interested for more mobile filmmaking tutorials, I got two videos right here that you can check out that will certainly help improve your mobile filmmaking skills. And the scene is pretty epic right now, so I'm probably going to take a time lapse or whatever and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Take care.